Hello guys, my name is Vikram Takkar. Today I am going to implement SCD type 3 using Terran Open Studio or Jasper ETL. In the previous videos I have shown you how to implement SCD type 1 and SCD type 2. Now in today's video I will show you how to implement SCD type 3. We are going to implement SCD type 3 on the column marital status. So, uh, in SCD type 3, basically, what we do not store all the historical records of changes for a particular dimension attribute. We only store the prior version of the change. Let's say if a person was single, uh, in current case, the person was single and then he gets married. So, the only the prior version of that uh, attribute, dimension attribute is being saved. So, how do we do that? We create a new column in a dimension table with the name of previous or a prior dimension table. Now, uh, I'm going to use the same table that I've used in the last video where we have implemented SD type 2 on city column. That's why I have started and ended for that. But in SD type 3, we do not use these SD and so start and SD and so end columns. For SD type 3, we have to create one new column which will hold the prior value of that dimension attribute. So let's add a new column. So now you can see that our new column is here. Now we have to implement SD in time. So Drag component okay. I've already defined a connection to a database where the SD type 3 uh, table reside. Right click for this setting, use an existing connection. Okay. Now, as I told you yesterday, uh, we want to implement, we had implemented SCD type 2 on city column and we kept all the columns in type 0 fields where we do not want to implement any SCD and ID column goes here and now we want to implement SCD type 3 on marital status, we move it to type 3D. Here we have also need to provide which column will hold the value of a prior value. So here you can give the same name that we have just created in the database. Also mention the survey. Table plus one, okay. Now if you see the current database for Thomas Cole is still single. Similarly, Shane Steve is still single. Now, let's change these two guys to marry status. Save this file. Run the job. Check our database. So they are still single. Refresh it. Now you can see that. Now the marital status has been changed to married and the previous marital status has been automatically populated with the old value. So guys this is the end of series of tutorial for slowly changing dimension. Uh, I just want to summarize that type 1 is where we uh, do not uh, we do not keep the history, history records. We just overwrite the new value. Uh, and in type 2, we keep all the historical records. We have to add two new columns, start and end date, to store the values in the time period for that particular record. And for type 3, we only maintain the prior version of the value. So we create a new column where we hold the prior value. So based on the requirements, we need to decide which kind of SCD we want to implement on our dimensions. I hope you guys have enjoyed these tutorials. Let me know if you have any difficulty understanding these.